returning players and the developmental young players? Is there a bigger gap there? Well, I, I think for us, obviously, we are a year, year further ahead than than where we were with the, the first scrimmage uh, a year ago. And more than anything, you try to compare where you were at uh, in each phase of, of your spring. Uh, I thought uh, kids handled it, not, not a lot of issues pre-snap um, on both sides of the football for the most part. Um, you know, I, I thought they were efficient in the way they communicated, getting lined up, uh, in particular on the, on the defensive side of the football. Um, you know, I thought our young guys actually handled the day pretty well. There's some competitive plays at the end of, of some of those situations where they got a chance to make a play and maybe didn't do it. But, uh, um, you know, that's, that comes with growth and, and more opportunities and learning. Was there any of the younger players that did stick out to you? Uh, I mean, before you go watch film, I, I think that's, you know, in some ways unfair. Uh, I thought Squirrel did a, did a really good job out there today. Uh, made multiple plays, operated really efficient, didn't feel like the tempo or, or the game was too fast for him at any point. Uh, really, really positive day for him. It's an it's a point of emphasis for us as an entire offense uh, of unit. Uh, the pass protection has got to continue to clean up at the running back position. Everybody that we have on campus has to continue to, to make strides in that. Uh, going back and, and through self scout, I uh, feel like that's an area that can clean up the pocket, make us more efficient, and play ahead of the chains, and give us an opportunity to push the football down the field. Uh, as a young running back, I don't, any running back that comes into your program. It's one of the areas playing without the football uh, that all of them have to grow in. Uh, you just look at uh, high school football and, and their pass protection and responsibilities, what they're seeing from the other side of the football. It's drastically different at this level. And uh, it's something that uh, you know we work on every day at this point in spring ball in, uh, in position drills and, and then do some crossover, good on good running backs, linebackers, and then we throw tight ends in there too. Uh, we got to continue to grow. You mentioned Squirrel. How big was this opportunity for him as, and those other pressure receivers, and also some of those guys maybe to play a lot last year and chance to go out there and show you? Uh, the opportunity is big for everybody. Uh, every position's up, man. You got to you got to go compete. You got to earn it, and uh, it's important. Uh, you know, nobody in your program can can rest on anything. What happened a year ago? What happened a day ago? What happened in the previous play? None of that matters. And so being able to reset, uh, compete the right way, is something that we're emphasized with our entire roster. Uh, for our young guys, it's a great opportunity to understand what the feel, the flow, and the speed of the game actually is going to be like on game day. For them, I expect them to make huge strides from the first scrimmage to the second scrimmage, just like they have as soon as we put pads on. Um, felt like they've continued to grow every single day. Josh, I know you haven't seen film, but, but what's your initial thought on the line of scrimmage, particularly at pack, that offensive tackle from the pass protection? Uh, the pass protection side of it, um, you know, with the ones and two, feel like they did uh, a pretty good job throughout the course of the day. Um, you know, it's it's unfair until you go watch it. Um, you know, in some of the competitive situations, I thought the defense did a really good job of, of getting off of the field. When we were driving the football, a couple of third down situations where they're able to create a stop and, and get off the field, maybe uh, force a field goal, and uh, and then four minute uh, for the ones and twos, um, uh, or for the ones I should say defensively, those guys did a nice job getting off the field. Scrimmage aside, just your thoughts on that left tackle battle through the first week, week and a half. We've talked to you since the first. Practice. Yeah, that left tackle position that, that's going to continue to be a battle. Um, I, I said it earlier. Nobody's got a safe spot, right? There's competition every day. Uh, the better we become as a program, um, the deeper your roster becomes, and that can, that uh, competitiveness takes place at every position. Um, I feel like those guys have made strides during our offseason. I feel like they have really made strides here uh, um, over the uh, you know the last two or three days when we've gotten into uh, to full pads. What did you see from the, the quarterbacks today? Um, operating efficiently, I thought Hendon did a, did a great job throughout the course of the day. Um, made some really nice decisions inside of the pocket. Um, you know, again. Getting to uh, you know through his progression uh, in a, in a really good way and, and being able to drop the football off, uh, I thought Joe did some uh, really positive things. Um, you know, was able to extend some drives and make some plays. Uh, Taven, there were some really good things. He's continued to progress. You know, as we've gone through the first six days and, and today being a scrimmage, there's going to be a lot of things for him at the quarterback position operationally. When it's time to get rid of the football, not take a sack. Um, there's going to be some, some opportunities for him to, to really grow. What's your thoughts on 
cornerback spot. I know you're under a man there. Cornerback. Cornerback, yeah, with Christian Charles and Desmond Williams. Yeah, uh, we're, we're thin right now, and, and as we rep throughout the course of the day, some of those guys are having to double up, um, you know, with twos and, and three reps. Um, I feel like those guys that are getting a bulk of the reps have, have done a really nice job. You know, you mentioned Christian Charles. He's a guy that inside of our program we continue to feel, you know, better and better about just because of the performance. Uh, he's a great kid, going to be a phenomenal leader inside of our program. He's got great work habits, you know, completely added or changed his body uh, during the offseason the lead up to, to spring ball had a, had a great first seven weeks in the, in the uh, strength and conditioning portion of it and you see him getting more and more reps and more, uh, more comfortable uh, through that that rep progression here on the grass we've heard we've heard about the freshman receivers what about the returning guys that are trying to win starting spots Jalen Hyde those sort of guys yeah Jalen's made a, a huge uh, jump um, different mindset different focus because of that different work habits Unbelievable off-season uh, strength and conditioning before we got to uh, to, to competing on the grass. Um, he's continuing to get better, uh, playing in competitive situations, uh, understanding uh, how to do the things that, that we want to do at the at the wide receiver position, uh, playing without the football in his hands. He's become a m much more physical uh, football player uh, since he's changed his body, and, and those two things go together hand in hand in gaining confidence, and that shows up in the way that he's played. Um, you know, Jimmy Holiday has done some really great things as well, and, and uh, you know the competition is going to be ongoing at the wide receiver position, and uh, those guys all got to continue to grow. Josh, I'm sure you always want more, but what have you thought about the way you guys have affected the quarterback, either today or in other team sets? Yeah, um, I, I thought you know a couple or a day ago uh, in, in our third down set, defensively did a really nice job of affecting and, and collapsing the quarterback, um, winning some one-on-one -on -one situations. Today, at times, that showed up as well. Uh, obviously, I got to go back and watch the, the video to, to to see more of it. Uh, but that's an emphasis for us and, and something that we're going to have to constantly and continually grow in. Uh, we got to be able to affect the quarterback. You got to be able to do that with pressure, but you got to also do it with a four-man rush. And uh, that's something that's got to help us and is we need to grow, you know, just looking at ourselves, Scout, and our, our third and long package from a year ago. Would you see how the run game did today, both sides, <laughs> just without having seen it? Just your thoughts? Uh, you know, th there were some. Uh, you know, some big runs that, that popped. I didn't think we were probably as consistent, efficiently uh, throughout the course of the days that we would want to be. Uh, hopefully that's uh, attributed to, to what we're doing on the defense side of the football too. If it's ever one-sided uh, as we go through this thing, we're going to be in trouble. I thought there was give and take uh, on both sides of the football. What the linebacker play so far? I know you're continuing to grow depth there. It's early yeah. linebacker play. Yeah, a lot of guys that are back, right, um, that uh, played a ton of football last year, thought they had a really good offseason. Uh, that strength, size has shown up. I think they're more comfortable, have their eyes in, in better places on keys. They're being more efficient with their movement, uh, doing a better job of, of defeating blocks. Block destruction is something that's critical uh, for us defensively. Got to continue to grow uh, that. That's true for our second-level players. Uh, it's a group that has become more consistent in just their behavior off the field and who they are and what they're, how they're doing everything. And uh, that's showing up in how they play, too. You have experienced specialists on special teams, but yeah. what else stands about return game, coverage, anything? Yeah, experience, and, and I love those guys, how they've competed, how they've continued to grow. Paxton's you know, put on 12 pounds during his offseason, changed his body, continued to keep his flexibility. He's healthy, you know, a year ago uh, was uh, was dinged up and, and, you know, that's why he didn't have the, the kickoff duties a year ago. Continues to get healthy. Um, expect him to have a, a phenomenal year. He's extremely focused on what he wants to accomplish and, and where he wants to go. Uh, Chase has done a great job uh, as well. We've put him in a bunch of pressure uh, kick situations. Uh, did that a year ago too. He's handled it and, and banged it really well. So is Paxton trying to win back that kickoff duty run? Yeah, for sure. He wants wants that job, you know, and uh, um, so good competition there. How much of a shock is the tempo to the freshmen when they get here on offense? And, and, and is this the point where you start to see them adjust a little bit more to it? Uh, the, the tempo's uh, hard. Uh, they're learning the speed of the game, and then they're learning. And when I'm talking about that, I'm just talking about all 11 guys, how the movement happens, and then they're learning, you know, how fast the game is played from the whistle until the next snap, and being able to reset assignment alignment and uh, get your eyes in, on your keys uh, it happens really fast for them continues to slow down hopefully every single day 
I think our young players, you know, uh, the way we handled our offseason, being prepared for the fir first day, handled some things in a really positive way. The pads come on, the speed and physicality of the game changes for them. They got to adjust to that. Don't get lost, don't get discouraged in the moment. This is a process that you got to go through, have great urgency in it, be confident in who you are as a, as a player and how you're going to grow. The thing that I love about our young guys that have come into the program is we've seen each and every one of them make strides from day to day. Got a long ways to go, um, but uh, it's been fun seeing them work. Today was the first time coaches truly off the field, you know, the entire time. You just got to play out on your own. And uh, I thought there were a lot of positives in, in the way that uh, they, they handled themselves. There's plays for them to make that they didn't make today. It's a part of just you know, being comfortable and confident and playing within yourself. As the game slows down, they'll be able to make those plays. Talked about comfortable. A number of people have pointed out the off-season yeah. leadership program, where yeah. I guess you could put guys in an uncomfortable situation. Can you explain <clears throat> how you guys do that? Yeah, uncomfortable, and that you know, if you're going to be a leader, you got to be out in front. You got to be able to communicate. You got to be able to you know say the things that are positive. They say the things that are, are negative. Be you know clear and honest in your communication. No different than coaches. We try to be uh, in, in those things as well. Um, I've seen them take strides and uh, unique this year in that we, we put some young guys in some of those roles as well where they're kind of shadowing the, uh, the older guys. Uh, I think you know our team connection, our team building, our leadership took a huge stride in the, in the first seven weeks. It was a point of emphasis for us. We spent every Wednesday on that. Um, it showed up in, in how we practice and, and uh, you know coaches are going to constantly coach and, and seek out everything. What's been fun with this group is that sometimes as a coach you can't get to the player before a teammate is getting with that player and correcting him too and and ownership's got to happen from within championship seasons because happen because there's leadership at a championship level from within man it's got to be player driven and uh, our guys are starting to take more ownership in that Yeah, I mean, the young guys are just continuing to, to grow into those things. Uh, I, I think you're, you're trying to build it from the bottom up, not just the, the top level. And, and uh, um, you know, our daily habits have dramatically and greatly improved, obviously from where we were a year ago, but in, in most ways from where we finished the season too. And, and uh, all those things play into who we are and, and how we grow as a, a football family. <clears throat>